Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you bug life cycle in case of valid defect. I'm just taking example when developer will not accept this defect. First of all, as a tester, we have reported this defect. Now, I'm just log out and log in as a. So here I'm starting login as dev lead. Dev lead will assign this defect to any developer for fixing. I'm login as a developer lead, and the defect was MYP. 22 which is reported by the tester so as a developer lead I want my developer to fix this issue so I'm just assigning this defect to as of now it is assigned I'm assigning it to my developer so my senior developer just assigned so now I have assigned this defect to the dev now developer login and verify this defect is valid or not so as i'm log out as a team lead and log in as a developer i'll show you what is the role of the developer over here so tw so logged in as a developer and that issue is assigned to me so i just click on this and I'm following what all the steps which are given by the tester after following the steps I think that's not a defect I'm not accepting this defect so I'm putting my comment like this is not reproducible in my environment we are getting expected result means developer is not accepting that's a defect so developer put its command and just rejected and after rejection developer is assigned back it to me like I am a so assigned back to tester so TW tester 2 now my bug is rejected by the developer so I'm saying developer rejected my defect so I just logged out as a developer and now tester is going to be logged in so as a tester I'm just login and this MYP 22 I'm going to this defect which is rejected by developer as a tester I'm understanding what all the comments developer has given developer saying like that is not reproducible in his environment now what as a tester I'm going to do so because developer says it is not reproducible it is working fine should I close this defect it depends on are we satisfied with the developer comment I'm taking example yes I'm I'm satisfied with the developer comment satisfied with developer comment so if I'm satisfied with the developer comments what all the information that developer has given now I know that's not a valid effect so I'll close this we'll cl click on the close but I'm taking another example like developer says it is not a valid defect it's not reproducible but still I think it's a valid effect so I'm going to the application again I'm testing it again still I'm getting that effect I go through the client requirements client documents and everywhere it is mentioned like it should be 10 results so means it's a valid defect I'm not satisfied with the developer comments so I'll go to my defect again and here I will reopen this as I reopen I'm going to provide what max information what I can provide as per client requirements it should be minimum 
10 results we are getting four results only which is a defect valid defect and also it's our responsibility to attach some document client requirements what maximum information we can provide to the developer we should do that so we are please find attached client requirements and new snapshots so whatever the maximum information you can provide you can provide it over here you can go to the attachment click on the attachment browse and whatever the client document you are having whatever the maximum information you want to provide you can attach it over here so I'm just attaching like I want to attach this so I've just attached that and click on add so that is added I have reopened that given my comments given new attachments so whatever the maximum information I can provide I have already provided over here I'm just reopened and also I'm assigning back to the developer so that was my developer now as a tester I have reopened the defect and assigned to the developer now I'm log out as a tester as a developer I'm just going to log in so now developer is logged in and the defect is assigned to the dev developer developer is going to the defect it is reopened yes now developer gone through all the new attachment I have given all the comments and now developer is satisfied yes it's a defect so developer it will take it to the in development and developer will start development over here so after one day or two day or three day whatever time developer is taking when developer feels this defect is fixed developer will set the status fixed means this defect is fixed all the changes that developer has done in his code we are not going to get code directly from the developer we are going to get next build we as a tester we are waiting for the build so as of now it's not ready for testing it's just fixed now I'm taking example like developer lead developer lead is logged in and developer lead will check like all the defects which are ready for testing so developer lead will generate a new build and once the build is deployed for the QA testing once build is given to the QA for the testing developer lead will set it to the ready for testing and he can assign this defect to the TW tester again that it's ready for the testing test it again so the status is ready for the testing now I'm logged out and now log in as a tester so that defect is assigned to me I just go to this defect it is ready for testing means we got this fixes in the current build I'm just taking it to the end testing and whatever the testing I want to perform like I'm going to the application again performing same task performing steps again like yes this time I feel it's a correct result so I'll take the screenshot like this and again yes this time we are getting the correct results so we can save it like MYP 22 done so we can save it as a tester we can have two options one this defect is fixed and other one is not fixed so if you feel this defect is not fixed we can make our comment over here and again reopen it but if you think that defect is fixed I'll close that but in both the cases if you are going to reopen or close you need to mention the comment like verified in build in latest build number so whatever the build number you got it like one two three it's fixed we can have two options like either reopen or fixed 
in both the cases we should take a screenshot and we can attach that screenshot so whatever the screenshot it was like this we will attach it and click on add so I'm taking example like it was fixed if it is fixed then I can close that so means that defect is closed so that's a complete bug life cycle in case of the valid defect but developer was not accepting this is a defect in a first attempt so we have seen a complete cycle we have gone through all the status that a defect can have so that's all we have for the session thanks for watching this video